my friends, it's Bella. Welcome to Beauty on a Budget. And I wanted to talk to you about hair stuff today. Um, and it's not about styling, it's about the things that I use in my hair. So products really, hair products. Um, I mean, most of us, you know, shampoo, conditioner, some leave-in conditioners, maybe mousses do different things. All these things have been out for years, haven't they? Um, I know when I was a little girl, it was just shampoo and then you had something called Estelan. My mum used to put something in my hair called Estelan. It was um, like a, con a, a conditioner and um, it was in a tube, like a toothpaste tube. I don't know if any of you remember that. Um, but of course it's come so far now we've got so many things, haven't we? So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I use that kind of help me. Um, and they don't all necessarily always stick to the same products, but I always use this type of thing. So I come over first of all, and I'd say my favourite shampoo and conditioner is Chesme. Um, I know you've heard me talk about that for a long, long time. And I do try others, and I like others. The Pantene range is very nice. The Aussie range is very nice. But I will always go back to my Tresemme. So for shampoo and conditioner, I would definitely say Tresemme. Now, the next thing is all according to how I'm going to style my hair. If I'm going to leave it just in a... Um, not you know not style it with any heat at all then i probably will i do i wash my hair partly towel dry it you know i i have those and i'm sure you've all got one of those um turbies uh, we call them turbies that you know you put on after your shower and i leave that on for a, quite a while to absorb most of the moisture and then i take that out I comb my hair through I tip my head upside down and I, this is my favourite one of these, this is a leave-in condition, it's that one I can never say, strand strength. <laughs> but I put that on, see that guys? I put that on, um, I expect like a 10p piece size, rub it in my hands and then I just pull it through the ends. I only do it from about here down, but I pull that all through the ends of my hair. And then I shake my hair, give it a shake like this, pull it up and I just let that completely dry like that. And then if I'm going to leave it, I don't brush it, um, I just finger it through, put my fingers through my hair and I get a good sort of beachy look like that. Um, more of a casual beachy look, but like that. But I don't use a brush. Once you use a brush, it's possible you'll get start to get a bit frizz looking. So if you do that sort of natural drying thing, always finger finger styling, um, you know, when you've done it. If I'm going to wear my hair like that, I try to do my hair in the morning. And then by, if I'm going out in the evening, my hair will be dry and I can just, you know, put my makeup on and just do this with my hair. Um, but that it, that's really the best on the day that you actually do it. But... I like that one. I've used that one for years. That's lovely. Now, if you do wear um, your hair, and well, any style really, it can get drier at the ends. I don't like to wash my hair. Now, I, I would say I wash my hair now about every six, five or six days. And sometimes I can go a week because I, it doesn't produce the oils it used to when I was younger. And... I find my hair's not doesn't feel dirty at all because obviously I'm indoors all the time and you know I don't really go out in a lot of pollution. Um, so yeah, five days, five to six days is enough. I, I wash my hair. When I was younger, of course, it was every other day, every day when I was a teenager. But then every other day, and it sort of went every third day. But now I would say every fifth day. So when we do that, sometimes um, it might feel a little bit dry. It might, the star we've get, we put in it has dropped because I only use heat once, if I use heat. So if I'm going to be using my hair curly, 
I will curl it and that will be it. I won't curl that again until my hair's been washed again. So if it's dropped and it's feeling a little bit dull, this is the naturals again and it's the strand strength again. But this is in a um a pump. So it's a it's a fine mist pump. So if you can see that. But it's the same sort of thing as the leave-in conditioner, but a much lighter version. So if my hair, for instance, I would just just give it a little bit at the ends, not a lot, just a little bit at the ends like that. And that will dry and that will just just give it that little bit of moisture it needs until your next you know, your next hairdo. <laughs> so now we'll look at the scenario that I know I'm going to use a hot treatment. I know I'm going to use a tong or um a flat iron. If I'm going to use a flat iron then I will use this leave-in conditioner. If I'm going to use a tong or something to make a curl and I want that curl to last I'll use this leave-in conditioner that's Aussie and the reason for that is um it's nice my hair's straightened now so obviously the, this is the one that I used when I did my hair but if I wanted sorry I keep knocking the camera if I wanted to use the curl I wouldn't want anything as not that that's heavy but I'd want something much lighter so that that curl hold held and definitely this Aussie one is the one that I use for that I love that any sort of treatment that a hot air treatment at all anything I use hot, my hot airbrush or um, tong or flat time whatever I'm using I always use the Henson defense spray and I love the argon one that is my favorite one um, again I've tried so so many but that is definitely my favorite one so if I'm going to use a, a, a hot tool of any description on my hair I would always put the argon oil leave-in conditioner first now, <laughs> how about, you know, sometimes I do my hair, I think you've seen me do it when I use one of those um, donuts and turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it and, and leave the donut in and then it brings out a curl in the morning. Now, I've done that look for you, I know. If I'm going to do that, then I put um, a mousse in my hair. If I'm going to do a tighter curl with a smaller tong so that I can put my hair up so that the, the curl will cascade a little bit so that I've got hair for the bun, the messy bun that I put up, then I will use this. This is a mousse. This is the only mousse I ever use. Um, but it's just a traditional mousse, you can see by the pump. This is Pan 10 and it's called Perfect Volume. And that I love that mousse. Um, that is, it's really, really nice mousse. And it doesn't leave your hair all sticky because mousses can make your hair really sticky, can't they? But this one doesn't, it's lovely. So when my hair, I put my hair up and I want a tighter curl and I use a smaller tong, I put, wash my hair, put the conditioner on, then I put this in and I let it dry and then I use the tighter tong. And that keeps that curl, well, it keeps it for, for four or five days at least. So it's really good. I'm really pleased with that, that how that lasts when I use that mousse. Next, before, I, <laughs> before any of this happens and I wash my hair, um, not always, I would say about every third time, I use a pre-wash conditioner. This one is um, by Garnier, it's Ultimate Blends, and this one is Papaya. So this is well gone down, you'll be able to see that, guys, can you see that? I brush my hair, and then I put, from here again, I put that all through my hair, comb it all through my hair, and normally I would, sometimes before, I do it before I go to bed and then I plait my hair and then I wash it the next morning because that needs overnight treatment. That leaves it really nice, especially if you're doing just that sort of shaggy look. It's, that leaves it really nice. Or sometimes I just put it on 
and just leave it for a couple of hours and then I have my shower and wash my hair. But that's pre-shampoo um, and I like that. I have to say, not every time it'd be too heavy. Do it about every third time. Now, okay. So next thing. When I do a messy bun, I need a tighter hairspray. This is Pantene again. It's a, it's a hairspray, but it's in a pump bottle. And if my hair's up, because my hair isn't naturally curly, it's, um, it's not naturally, well, it is this straight, yeah, I would say it's, Apart from the wisp skits I get, I like to smooth it out. I have got straight hair. But if I want to put that curl in it and have the volume for having a messy bun, then I will hold that up with this one. That's the Pantene. And that's a pump hairspray, so you've just got a... a you know, it's a pump. It's not an aerosol. So it's quite direct... And you just go, I just go on to where my hair is put up. And I've used that one for years as well. I really, really like that one. <laughs> now you see, so <laughs> I've got a fringe. Um, we call bangs in America, don't you? Um, so I've got this. Now, what I do, like tomorrow I won't wash my hair. But in the morning when I'm putting my makeup on, I'll put this, you see me in my roller, my famous roller I always wear when I'm doing my makeup. Well, I put my roller in and then I put some of this on the roller. Um, this is the Style Expertise. It's 01 and it's a gel spray. So when I've got my roller in, I squirt the roller, I spray that on the roller. And then by the time I've done my makeup, that's dry and it just gives a little bit of, can you see guys, it just gives a little bit of, of something in my fringe. It doesn't curl it. It's a big roller. I use a big roller. Um, it just holds it so that that will hold for the day. And I like that one the best. That's my favourite one. If I'm going to put my hair up... Um, and it hasn't been washed long. So say uh, I put my, I washed my hair last night. So I wanted to put my hair up tonight. It wouldn't have enough body to it. After about five days, because different products and things, you tend to have more body in your hair. But if you wanted it to be done just the day um, you wash it, and you've got completely straight hair. It's harder to hold onto that curl. So you want a little bit of volume. You want a little bit of volume at the base as well. You don't want it to um, fly away or wispy or, you know, you need a bit of volume to get that look to look right. I think so with an updo. And if that's the case, I use a dry shampoo. Um, this one is an inset one, but I'm not terribly keen on it. Um, I've got some on order. I've got an Avon one on order and I've got a Tresemme one on order. I wasn't so keen on this one. Um, it's a nice slime, this, but... And it's a lovely smell. I just wasn't so keen on the feel of it in my hair. I don't get a white cast with it at all. Um, but it, it feels a bit sticky in my hair. And I, I'm not very keen on that. Whereas the other ones that I use, I can brush, literally brush them out and you don't know they've been there the next day. But this just leaves, it seems to leave a bit of a residue, so I'm not keen on that one. I'll use it up, but I won't use, buy it again. Finally, um, whatever style I'm doing, I always put a little, little bit of hairspray on. Um, if I'm doing an updo, then I'll put the heavier spray on this one, isn't it? I'll put that one on the bun, but don't put that over to the front of my hair. I'll just put that just a little bit on where the curls are or the knot is or whatever I've done to the back of my hair. I'll just use that there. The rest of my hair around here, and obviously I've got nothing here, no hairspray here, I don't need it. But just around here, I like a little bit of hairspray every day, and that's my faithful Tresemme. And that's a lovely fine spray, which I love. Um, it's a nice natural smell. It holds, it brushes out. This, Along with 
my Tresemme shampoos. I love this hairspray. It's lovely. I love Tresemme as a range, actually. I, I really do like Tresemme. Um, and I also like Elnet, which is, oh, my goodness, my mum used Elnet. But I really like Elnet. So they are all the things that I use in my hair. So a normal hairspray. And then a dry shampoo should I need volume. I broke the lid there. Can you see I've taped it on? And then if I'm going to want a tight curl um, and using tongs or I want the curl to last or I put it up in one of those twisty bun things, I use the mousse. Then... If I'm just going to just do the, the front of my hair, just a little bit of the front of my hair, um, and I want it curly, I use this. Then, if I want a, a conditioner to leave in but for my hair not to be so heavy, I will use this, because that's not... Um, it's not as heavy as a, a, some leave-in conditioners because I love treatment for your hair. But if you put too much heavy conditioner on, it's harder to curl, especially if you've got that like, poker straight hair like I have. It's too hard. So that's the one that I use to condition if I'm going to put my hair up. Then that is the <laughs> hairspray that I use just on the curls at the back to hold the curls if I've got um you know I won't put it on the front don't never need anything so heavy on the front but sometimes if I've got my hair in a bun because it's heavy and it will fall I tend to use that that I use I would say 99 out of every hundred times I used it last night when I washed my hair um, that's just a leave-in conditioner. Strand Strength Avon Naturals. I love this one. I absolutely love this one. If I'm going to curl my hair, I would prefer to use the spray. And also, this is if I'm going to curl my hair, I tend to use this leave-in conditioner spray. If my hair's going to be left, which 9 out of 10 times it is, I will use this cream leave-in conditioner. And between times, if my hair gets a little bit dry around here between washes, I use this Avon Naturals Strand Strength again. Always use heat protection spray, whatever one suits you, but don't ever use hot tongs. My advice, I can mean don't do it, but you know, my advice would be to never use any hot tool without heat protection spray. And then. I had my conditioner that I put in, this is called a treatment. I think they call this food, hair food. So that's the papaya one by Ultimate Blends. Do it about every third, fourth shampoo, I guess. And then, of course, my beloved shampoo and conditioner that I love, and I keep trying other things, but come back to these, my Tresemme. So that's all the things, all the products that I use in my hair, guys. Quite a few things, isn't it? I didn't realise myself. I thought um, I'll make a, a video and show my friends, you know, what I use in my hair. So I bought more and put them on the table. I thought, oh my goodness, <laughs> I use quite a lot of things. <laughs> but anyway, they're the things that I use in my hair because they're not all bought all the time because it will last me this I buy regularly because obviously I, when I style my hair I buy regularly but because the other things it's all according to what style I'm used doing the other things are used now and again according to the style they don't you know use up very quickly so it's only sort of every few months that I have to buy you know the, the different things other than the leave-in conditioner because that's used every time. And also my... Because that's used every time. And shampoo and conditioner, of course. But the other things, you know, in and out. and I buy it as and when I need it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. And the 101 things I use for my hair. I will see you again on Tuesday. I've got a hair in my eye now. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you again on Tuesday. 
be safe over the weekend um we've got stories here about us being unlocked and different things coming back to the you know opening up again i just hope that people are, are sensible because if they keep just ignoring all the the advice then it will be just going locked down again it'll be a never never increasing circle so um just be safe and think of others and think how lovely it will be for the world to get back to normal i'll see you again tuesday take great care of yourselves bye guys and thanks for being here guys thank you so much bye <laughs>